Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a Tiesto Cashmere huge sounding EDM piano. So let's get straight to the tutorial. The piano that I'm playing right here is the same piano from a tutorial I did a couple of weeks ago with um, how to thicken up your mix with just bass. I'm beginning questions on how did I get that sound. Well, here it is. And uh, if you haven't seen that tutorial, this is what the pianos sounded like. Uh, actually, it sounded a little bit different because you heard the final version there, but this is in his dry format. So the first thing we're going to look at is what sound I'm actually using, beginning questions on what was the piano plugin I was using. Well, I'm using a stock piano plugin from the EXS24 sampler instrument, and I'm using the Steinway Piano 2 preset. You can find it under Factory, Acoustic Pianos, Steinway Piano 2. Now I'm using that preset for both the left side of my piano and the right side of my piano, or right side piano, left side piano. And the reason why I do that is just so I can pan them as if, just to get, kind of get a wider stereo field by just panning them. So they're not just cut down the center, they're kind of panned a little bit to your right for the piano right, and the left side of the piano is panned to the left a little bit. So it's kind of mimics as if you were sitting in front of the piano playing it actually yourself. Gives the listener a cool perspective. So for our piano right, or whatever our right hand is playing, we're gonna pan it to the right ever so slightly. And for our piano left, or whatever our left hand is playing, we're gonna pan it to the left here. It kind of makes our piano field a little bit wider, gives a nice listening perspective to the listeners. All right, so it's gonna go ahead and work on our right side of the piano right now. First thing we're gonna do is bring in a trusty old EQ because this piano is sounding quite muddy and we're gonna fix that right now. So let's go ahead and take this guy right here and we're gonna cut around the 400 range because uh, that's what's gonna nice, pretty much kill out some of that muddiness. So let's pull it down about four dBs here and uh, this Q we're gonna make a little bit tighter. So something like that. And then we're gonna kinda boost up around the 6,000 range just to kinda brighten up our piano and have it shine bright like a diamond, if you will. So let's boost that up about three dBs and we're gonna make this also a little bit narrower. So something like that. So here's what we get once we EQ what we just did. Definitely cleans it up, so here it is with it off. on so that's it for our EQ next thing we're gonna do is bring in a compressor and just make that a little bit tighter we are going to be working off of the standard platinum digital circuit type so let's uh, work off that right now uh, first thing we're gonna do is set our ratio to a two to one ratio our threshold we're gonna adjust in a moment our knee, where well, we're going to leave it as such, our attack. Uh, we're just going to bring that down to about 4 milliseconds, and our release is going to be somewhere about 29. Kind of a slower release, or maybe a medium release. Something like that. Turn off the auto, and let's hear how that sounds. We're going to adjust our threshold until we get some nice compression happening. So I kind of want to get about 6, 7 dBs of gain re reduction right here. So that's pretty good, kind of tightens it up a little bit, makes it easier for us to place in our mix. So here it is without compression. And with. Just makes it a little bit tighter for us to uh, work with and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, actually just duplicate that track right now for our piano left because we're gonna be using the same EQ. Sorry and bring that up right there. The only thing I want to change for our left hand side is the circuit type 
of the compressor. Now I was thinking of doing a tutorial on the different uh, circuit types. If you do want that, let me know in the comment section below and I'll post it. It just will take you through the different types of uh, circuit types and when and why you should use them. But for this one, I want a little aggressive sound for the bass side of things. So I'm gonna use the vintage VCA right here. So for this one, we're just gonna make the release a little bit quicker right here and the attack a little bit slower. So we're gonna pump that up to about like that. A ratio we're gonna leave two to one and our threshold probably about the same right there, but let's see if we need to add in some more. So that sounds pretty good. It's a little bit more aggressive. Here it is with it out. With. Without. Definitely beefs it up. So here the, here's the two together. And lastly, let's apply some reverb to get that big room sound. Uh, so we're gonna apply reverb to the right side of our piano and not the left, because I find when you add some reverb to the bass part of the piano, sometimes, not all the time, it does muddy up your track. So I'm just gonna show you how to apply reverb to one side of the piano and get it to sound good. So we're on our right side of our piano right here, and we're gonna bust it out some signal to an available aux track. We use bus one, and let's just send out some signal here. All right, that should be good. On our auxiliary track, we're gonna bring in a reverb plugin. We're gonna use the platinum verb, and we're gonna work off of the default settings right here. So we want a larger than life reverb, of course. So let's push up this reverb time to about five seconds or somewhere around there. We can just make this up a little bit more dense here. Our room size, we want a large room, so let's bring this up to about 40. Uh, we're not going to want any pre-delay and we don't want any initial delay and um, this reverb but we just set it right here should be good to go now if you are familiar with some of my tutorials i do like to eq my reverb so i'm just going to go ahead and eq out some of the lows just so it's not muddying up our track so i'm going to push this to about 150 here and I'm also gonna cut a little bit of our mids and a little bit of the harshness here around the 5K range. And we are gonna boost up around the, the 8K range just to kind of bring up some of that kind of niceness to our reverb. So what that really does is just focus in on the reverb and takes away some of the muddiness. So here's the reverb with the EQ off. And the EQ on. Just cleans that up ever so slightly. Uh, so since I'm not getting my reverb as loud as I need it to be, I'm gonna add in another plugin. It's just a really straight old plugin, the gain plugin. I'm just gonna boost it up so we can uh, get that reverb to be more in your face because that's the effect that we're going for. So that's how you get that larger than life EDM piano sound. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you are new to I'm a Music Mogul, remember to hit that subscribe button for more great videos like these. And as usual guys, I'll see you all, or rather talk to you all in the next video. See you all soon. Talk to you all later.